They, they trail by Milford missed the free throw. Milford chased it down. Milford has a two-point lead, 11 seconds to go in that ball game. In the high school gym over here in Richfield. Thanks for watching Utah High School basketball, 1A basketball on, on KSL.com and MyLocalRadio.com. This is a Bear Lake Realty presentation of 1A basketball. We're coming to you live from the Sevier Valley Center. This is a consolation game on the championship side of the bracket between the visiting Valley Buffaloes and the Tintic Miners as the home team. The starters for Valley will be Kyson Spencer, Garrett Spencer, Gavin Hoyt, Cameron Franklin, and Oren Wood. And for the Miners, David Whitney, Jason, Jesse Wall, Braxton Peterson, McCoy Fitzgerald, and Curtis Evans. And I wouldn't blame you a bit, folks, if you went and watched the last nine seconds. That Milford's at the line, shooting a free throw. Misses again. Tabiona Ball, five Holy seconds crap. on the fast break, drives baseline. Jump ball, possession to Milford. Oh my goodness. And tip here comes off to the Buffaloes. Franklin tips it to Wood. Wood drives baseline, scoops it up with his right hand for two. who made that. You see who made that? Wood made that basket. Did they just give a technical foul? To they just teed up Tabiona on that other game. Sorry. <laughs> So that'll, that should make it a final, one second to go. Milford will have the ball. So Milford will advance in that consolation championship and play the winner of Rich. Yeah, you're on. I brought you on. David Whitney, right side Braxton Peterson in the corner to Evans. Jesse Wall looks. Milford wins it in that other game. So that other game just went final. Milford 61, Tabiona 58 in your Rocky Mountain Yeti scoreboard update. That's in the high school, the consolation bracket. There's so much good basketball been going on down here this week. Well, there really has been. Spencer. So the Buffaloes last night lost a close one to the T-Birds. Shot up. No good by Wood. Ball on the ground and jump ball. Valley was 1 of 19 from the three-point line. 1 of 19. 1 of 19 from the three-point line. You're back on the air, right? Yep. You know that. So, uh, and the Miners were held to, I want to say 27 points, 29 points by Panguitch. Completely different team than we've seen before from the Miners. Three points shot up, won't go. Rebound Spencer, and it goes out of bounds. That'll be minor ball. Spencer was kind of falling away, and Kyson kind of comes up holding his ankle. Hopefully he's all right. Whitney up top. Spencer Peterson from 30 feet won't go. Rebound Hoyt for the Buffaloes.
A foul away from the ball on Evans. Working on Franklin. Evans has had his hands full the last two days. Yesterday he faced air and did a good job on air. Wood drives and he's fouled. And then today he's against another great center. in uh, Cameron Franklin from the Buffaloes. So I found out why the official's always on this side under the basket. So the official that reports the score or the foul stays on the scoreboard side or the score clock side and the other official comes to the other side. I uh, gotcha. Pass ahead. So Wood makes both his free throws. Evans, baseline drive. He's fouled. Peterson in the corner for three, won't go. Ball put back up, blocked by Kyson Spencer. The announcer, Kyson Spencer, number double aught. Double zero. That's right. David Whitney breaks the ice for Miners, so almost three minutes into this first period, gets on the board. Second one short, rebound down to Wall. Whitney will look at the three, gives to Wall in the corner. Fakes right, comes left. Down to Evans for two. Hoyt to Wood. Wood drives, scoops it up with his left hand nice for work. two. Wood with all six points for the Buffaloes. Drive by Peterson, dishes right wing, wide right corner. Pass down into Wall from Peterson. Hoyt drives, kicks to Spencer. Spencer drives. Garrett looks, gives to Hoyt. Wood drives underneath, passes Ooh. it in. That looked like a tough fall. Coach Hoyt not not pleased with that just out of bounds call wanted a foul i've had that camera on the wrong angle for a good two minutes sorry everybody had it down on the floor only getting a portion of the game hoyt spencer Tyson Spencer, drive by Hoyt and he's fouled. Two for Hoyt. Second, 
Wall with the travel. Three-point shot up by Kyson. Rebound Cameron Franklin blocked and fouled. Franklin's got some blood on his leg. Looks like they're going to have to check someone in for him. That's tough. Stetson Harris has to come off the bench, step up to the free throw line, and take a pair of free throws. Looks like he's ready for it. Harris got ice water in his veins. Second one off the mark, rebound, wall. Whitney pulls up, jumper won't go, rebound tipped. It's gonna go out of bounds off of the Miners. Wood dribbles right, pass to the corner and to nobody, everybody left. <laughs> Whitney, Fitzgerald, Inside, shot up, won't go by Jacob Whitney. Tip back up and in by Hoyt. Timeout, Tinnick. You're watching Utah 1A Basketball on kslmylocalradio.com. Glendale Country Store. Kyle and Rachel Spencer. From beef to wild game, they do it all. Summer sausage and their famous barbecue jerky. Wishing the Buffalo success. At Jensen Wood Motor, it's our goal to make sure every customer is a repeat customer. The way we do that, our customers are our friends. It's our job to help you find what you're looking for at the best possible price. It's always good to know that your salesman is working for you. We understand that life happens. Sometimes credit isn't perfect. We work hard to find financing options that work best for you. Stop by today and let's see what we can do for you. Jensen Wood Motors in Mount Peter, Idaho. Lime Excavating wishes the Valley Buffaloes the best in the postseason. Lime Excavation can help you with all your excavation needs. Give Darwin a call, 435-691-2782. He digs it. Whitney, or uh, yeah, Whitney down on the floor cleaning up the blood. Mm -hmm. 
Franklin got his knee taped up and he's back in the game. Stetson Harris stays in as well. I guess they figure if he came in and gave him, made a free throw, he can, he can stay in. That's right. Wall drives, little kick back to Whitney. Whitney drives, dishes. 32 is Snell for three. That's short. Rebound pulled down by Harris and taken away by Wall. Wall with the drive, the scoop, the score. And the reach by Snell over Franklin. Harris, baseline Spencer, Kyson takes it up and one. Ice misses his free throw. And uh, half the Valley, three of the Valley players were over getting a drink, talking to Coach Hoyt. Had to recover. Peterson into Fitzgerald. Snell drives baseline, tries to pass back up to Wall. Picked up by Peterson. Whitney. And a travel. into the game. Mason Young for the Miners. Wood right side looks into Franklin and a moving screen on Tyson Spencer. Whitney will take a deep three, just short. After one quarter of play, the Rocky Mountain Yeti scoreboard, 12-7, Buffaloes. We'll be back. Feeling the worst? Snap out of it. Become a new you in no time. With Logo Maniacs, look your best. Logo Maniacs, the right look for the right price. You have goals. Subway has a fresh fit menu. With two servings of veggies and 24 grams of whole grains, Subway has eight six inch subs with 400 calories or less, like the rotisserie style chicken or oven roasted turkey breast. Choose from eight great options that are better for you and delicious. Go you. Try the fresh fit menu only at Subway. This ad brought to you by Mount Carmel Subway in Orderville, Utah. The Orderville Town Council wishes the Valley Buffaloes the best of luck. Come and enjoy hiking, ATVing, horseback riding, camping, and hunting. Orderville, home of the Valley Buffaloes and the heart of Kane County. Casey Rick. Checks in for the Buffaloes as well as Braden Heaton. Braden came in yesterday and gave the Buffaloes some good minutes. That was a tough loss, and Braden drags that pivot foot. That was a tough loss for the Buffaloes yesterday with 0.5 seconds to go. Uh, a foul is committed, and, and uh, Bo Sylvester went to the free throw line, made both free throws to win the game for the T-Birds to advance to the semifinal game today. Yeah, I was in the other gym, but I, we were all glued to the TV uh, in the high school watching the final minutes of that game. Whitney in the paint. 
And I, I think partly why Braden Heaton, Braden's just a sophomore for the Buffaloes, but kind of like yesterday, Kyson Spencer gets in foul trouble. Shot up, won't go, rebound, out of bounds. Wow, away from the ball. That looked like Mason Young and Rack had one heck of a collision away from the ball. Thirty-second timeout on the floor. You're watching Utah One A basketball on live.ksl.com and myerslocalradio.com. Myerslocalradio.com is Southwest Wyoming and Northeast Utah's top website and the best source for local area news, weather, sports, and community events. And that's not all. MyLocalRadio.com features thousands of photographs of Wyoming and Utah high school events, from speech and drama competitions to local events, sports and activities, and much more. Check it out today and see what MyLocalRadio.com has for you. Welcome back to this Ellingford Brothers in Evanston presentation of Utah 1A Basketball. David Whitney looks to inbound, throws it back court to Young. Whitney up top on the Rocky Mountain Yeti scoreboard, 6.50 to go in the second. Valley 12, Tintic 7. Bounce pass inside the wall and Franklin comes down on top of him while he's on the ground. That will be the fifth team foul. Franklin's second foul. Peterson checks in. Peterson bounce pass inside, deflected by Heaton. Wood drives right, Snell with the reach. This is his free throw. Pass inside, Whitney over Heaton. <laughs> they announced that as the wrong. They announced that as if Valley scored, but it wasn't Garrett Spencer. It was David Whitney. Hoyt dribbles baseline, draws the defenders, and gets fouled. That's going to be Wall's second foul. Jesse Wall is second. Hoyt, two of three from the foul line today.
drive by Peterson. Can't go one way, goes back to his left, spins, goes all the way around the, the paint, and puts it up with his left handed in. Peterson's first bucket of the game. Wood fakes, little shot up, won't go. Rebound Peterson. Blocked, Evans is blocked by Hoyt. Pulled the rebound off that block, is pulled by Rack. Wood kicks the corner, Hoyt for three, off the back iron, rebound Rack. Gives to Spencer. Spencer ball tipped off his foot. Gives Peterson. Rack hesitates, dribbles, knocked away, picked up by Peterson. Miners on the break, has Wall out in front, gives to Wall in the corner. Evans trailing, loses the handle. Whitney rims off, rebound, saved in by Wall, and it goes off the legs of the Buffaloes. And they're calling Wood with the elbow. Thirty-second timeout, Buck Valley. You're tuned into Utah 1A basketball on KSL, my local radio.com. When it comes to Walmart, Brothers in Evanston always delivers year-round. Whether you are looking for cement, gravel, road base, cement watering troughs, culverts, sand steel fabrication services, steel products, accessories for your vehicles, trailer hitches, or snow removal for your company or organization, Elling Ford Brothers is the name to remember. Quality services and fair prices, three things you'll always find at Elling Ford Brothers. Call us today at Basket up and in by Wall. Ball taken away from Hoyt. Outlet pass ahead to Peterson. Can't quite chase it down. Bounce pass down to Braden Heaton. Three point basket, Casey Reck. Pull up jumper, David Whitney won't go. Rebound put up by Evans, doesn't go. Rebound Wood. Wood on the fast break. Three on two, or two on three. Cross court, Spencer takes a deep three, tries to match, won't. Spencer has really struggled from the three-point line. Wall with a little floater, won't go. Braden Heaton with the rebound, hands it to Oren Wood. Um, Wood and offensive foul. That was a good set by Wall. Yeah, Wall was set up. It was the right call. Rocky Mountain Yeti scoreboard, Valley 17, Tintic 13. Snell to Peterson, into Wall, ball knocked away, Heaton comes out over there with it. Gives to Hoyt. Crossover drive, kick to Spencer. Spencer fakes right, comes back left, up over wall, over uh, Evans and draws the foul. Turn to Evans. Third person, Gary Spencer. 
That's Evans' third personal. That's a big foul for the Miners. Spencer makes his first free throw. And second, Wall, Peterson, ball tipped up in the air by Rick. Casey Rick, just a sophomore as well for the Buffaloes. In fact, the Buffaloes have three sophomores on the floor right now. Actually, Hoyt might be a freshman. Rack drives, kicks, corner to Hoyt. Hoyt all the way to the basket, scoops it up with his right hand for two. Hoyt with seven points in the ball game. That rebound stripped away from Heaton. Three point shot on the way by Whitney, good. Little Garrett spends a little jumper in the paint for two. Wall calls a foul before the shot. Just never been a fan of that where the defenders backing up as quick as they can. The offensive player creates the contact and they give the foul. Um, Makes his first. Misses. Rebound Spencer. Wreck. To Wood. Spencer drives, blocked and taken away by Peterson, then a reach in on Spencer after. Garrett Spencer is first, one and one. Miss by Peterson. Wood drives into traffic, pulls up for two. Eight point lead for the Buffaloes in the corner, Peterson baseline. Kicks it out, Whitney for three. He's deadly from out there. Nothing but the bottom of the net. When they when Tindic played Bryce Valley last week, Whitney and Peterson shot lights out along with Jesse Wall. Yeah, you definitely cannot leave them open on the perimeter. Ten seconds. Wood drives, spins. They give a five second count. A turnover, with six seconds to go. What's official inadvertent whistle? Said he started him, told him to start the clock too quick. Whitney drives. Peterson. That's a deep, off. deep three. Tips back up, won't go. Rebound, Braden Heaton. 
So that's going to do it for the first half. 25-20 Buffaloes on your Rocky Mountain Yeti scoreboard. Thanks for watching Utah 1A Basketball on KSL and MyLocalRadio.com. 1941, Plains Tire is Wyoming's oldest and largest tire dealer with great locations throughout the state. They'll get you the right tires and offer the best results for your vehicle at the lowest prices, guaranteed. Plus, you can go to any Plains Tire Pro dealer with their nationwide warranty service. And check out their Plains Tire phone app. Come down and see us at Plains Tires on 157 Bear River Drive for all your automotive needs. Hablamos también español. The Valley High School cheerleaders. High school cheerleaders will be back. You're watching 1A Basketball on KSL and MyLocalRadio.com. Ruby's Inn General Store has the area's widest selection of Indian arts and crafts, curios and groceries. Located one mile from the entrance to Bryce Canyon National Park, Ruby's General Store has what you need. If you or your friends are looking for a home or vacation home at beautiful Bear Lake, you don't have to wait any longer to live your dream. Bear Lake Realty has properties in every price range. Relax. Create memories for generations to come in your home or vacation home at one of the most beautiful lakes on earth. It all starts with a phone call. We will help you find the perfect home for you and your family. Call today, Gary McKee at Bear Lake Realty, 435-946-8888 or go to bearlakerealty.com. Local decisions, better results with State Bank of Southern Utah. Visit us online at sbsu.com or stop by any one of our local offices. Member FDIC. Welcome to the playoffs. We wish you the best of luck at the tournament. At South Central Communications, our dedicated team is working overtime 
bring you the fastest, most reliable network available. Souptown Cafe on Main Street in Porterville, Utah offers the finest home-cooked meals on the road between Zion and Bryce Canyon National Park. Souptown Cafe want to wish the Valley Buffaloes success in the postseason tournament. People hear words like server or cloud storage and are usually confused. I hear those words and think, solutions. It didn't start that way. When I enrolled at Southern Utah University, it wasn't clear to me where I'd end up. The professors at SUU took the time to get to know me and help steer my natural people skills and leadership talents into a successful business career. Now I'm a leader in the business of global connectivity, thanks to the guidance I received from Southern Utah University. Thunderbird Resort, Golf, and Restaurant at the junction of Highways 9 and 89 in the middle of Bryce and Zion National Parks. Stay and relax with us on the golf course and finish the day with a slice of fresh, hot, homemade pie. Derek and Gabe Brinkerhoff with T-Lazy 7 Ranch Cabins want to wish the Buffalo success. Our newly built, cozy cabins are conveniently located between Zion and Bryce National Parks. Book your stay on Airbnb.com. Light up your world with a custom-built LED sign from Rocky Mountain Sign in Evanston. It's a proven fact that signage that lights up creates more attention. So light it up and then add text, images, and video, and your sign becomes even more powerful. Start sharing your advertising messages and information with your customers today. The team at Rocky Mountain Sign provides all types of quality signage that is custom-built and maintained. Call today for a free quote. Rocky Mountain Sign, 307-789-5202. Rocky Mountain Sign, serving customers in Wyoming, Utah, and Idaho. Welcome back, folks, to the Southern Utah University Halftime Report. Experience more at SUU. Check them out at www.suu.edu. This first, this first half of basketball back and forth, Tindic would kept clawing back. Valley would pull it out five, six points. Then Tindic could claw back, get real close. Um, it was an exciting half of basketball. Minor score, uh, David Whitney with nine points, Jesse Wall with seven, Braxton Peterson with two, Curtis Evans with two. Evans got in foul trouble early, sat out most of the first half, almost all the second quarter. Kyson Spencer with two points for the Buffaloes, Garrett Spencer with four, Casey Reck with a big three there in that second quarter. Gavin Hoyt has seven points. Oren Wood with eight. And Stetson Harris with one. Cameron Franklin been shut out in that first half defensively by Evans and the rest of the tight or the minors. So we appreciate SUU and their halftime support for the halftime show. Experience more with SUU. Check them out online at suu.com. EDU. We'll be back in a minute for the second half.
Welcome back, folks, to this Bear Lake Realty presentation of Utah 1A Basketball, also brought to you by Elling Ford Brothers in Evanston, Pre Evanston, Wyoming. Start of the second half, it's minor basketball. They trail by five on the Rocky Mountain Yeti scoreboard, 25-20 to the Valley Buffaloes. That pass goes off the fingertips of Fitzgerald. In the corner, Jesse Wall for three, rims out. Wood with the rebound. In the corner, Kyson Spencer set, shoots, that's short. Rebound fouled as Gavin Hoyt goes to the basket with off the rebound. This is the last game of the morning in this consolation on the championship side. Then we start into the semifinal games. Gavin missing both these free throws. He was three of four prior to that. And Wall or Peterson goes over Hoyt. Hoyt slow to get up. Peterson's third, not second. On the scoreboard it says three. Hoyt hands to Wood. Wood drives, steps back, bounce pass in, taken away, out of bounds, tipped away, out of bounds. Pass into Rec. Rec yo yo's. Picks up his dribble, hands to Spencer. Spencer has the ball tipped away. Quick hands by Fitzgerald. Tip it back to Spencer. Gavin Spencer. Not Gavin. Kyson Spencer. He's fouled. Just Wall with his third person, two shots. Kyson Spencer. Spencer at the line shooting free throws. That one off the back iron rims out. Three missed free throws for the Buffaloes to start this second half. Misses both. That's tipped by Wood. Peterson down low, baseline to Wall, hits Evans low post. Evans spins back into Wall. Wall scoops it up between the defenders and for two. Tendick on the board first in the second half. 25-22 on your Rocky Mountain Yeti scoreboard. Pass inside to Spencer, and he's fouled by Evans or Wall. Either way, it's a fourth foul. I think that might be the third on Evans. He might have just had. Nope, that is his fourth. That'll bring Jacob Whitney into the game. Yeah, not good for the Miners. Evans just not been able to get into rhythm. He in foul trouble early. 
who spent the majority of the game on the bench. Wood bounce pass in off the glass, <clears throat> takes it up off the glass for two. Wall kicks it back out. Peterson dribbles left, pulls up, jumper baseline won't go. Tip, tipped again, pulled down by Wood. Wood on the break. Timeout, Coach Hoyt saved the possession. 30-second timeout. We'll be back after word from these sponsors. You're watching Utah 1A Basketball. Behind the scenes. Out of the spotlight. Empowering the dreams of others. We applaud that. Zions Bank. We haven't forgotten who keeps us in business. Do you want to be on or not? You're on. Wreck hands to Wood. Wood up top to Spencer. Garrett yo-yos. Dishes to Wreck. Kyson Spencer will give and go. Wreck somehow steps between. That was that a good eye on the ref. He uh, he bounced going in. Uh, that actually stepped. It was the that was a Euro step. So that right foot goes down. You take the left foot as your step, and then you can go up. Uh, it's the way I saw it. I saw it mm -hmm. as a missed call, but you may have caught a, a hop that I didn't see, and the official obviously thought it was, so it was a travel. Peterson to Wall, or to fit Whitney up top. Snell, high post, turns, looks, kicks Whitney. Baseline spin, jumper over Franklin, rebound Spencer. Garrett Spencer has ball tipped. Kyson Spencer dribbles, spins. Offensive foul. That's a tough break for Buffaloes. Mm. Got a little aggressive on that spin, and Wall took the charge. That's Kyson's third foul. Peterson, Snell, to Wall, looks in. Whitney has it tipped away by Wreck. I missed what that call was for. It was a travel, and... Uh, and have to adjust. The Buffalo's going to have to adjust. They still try to lead by five. Just four points scored in this second half total over halfway through it, over halfway through the third period. Whitney to Peterson drives. Bounce pass Evans, baseline. Three-pointer by Fitzgerald. That's short over the top. Out of bounds. Spencer kicks that back, just kind of haphazardly. Offensive foul again, and the Buffaloes can't catch a break.
Now, I didn't see that one either, Dalton. I mean, I, I saw it, right, right. but I didn't see it the same way. Garrett Spencer completely stepped to the left around the defender, and his leg made contact with the other, with the defender's leg. And a moving screen on Snell. Neither team can get anything going, rhythm, I mean, just rhythm completely out of sync. That's Snell's third foul. So Whitney, or uh, Evans on the bench with four. Snell with three. <coughs> That's just Fitzgerald's second. Geisen, Spencer, drives. Gives to Rack. Back to Wood. Buffalo coach, not happy. He said they called double dribble, and they said he didn't dribble again. Interesting call. David Whitney. Peterson. Big three. And a rebound foul is on Wall, I believe. Or are they going to give it to? Oh, that'll be a one and one for Wood. So Wall now has four. Evans has four. Feels like we've been hearing that whistle a good bit in the last couple minutes. A lot of whistles. Wood makes his free throw. Should be 28-22 on the score, but he didn't give Wood. He made that first free throw, didn't he? He did. Haven't. Haven't either updated that or three pointer by Peterson won't go. Drive by Wood, scoops it up, and he's fouled. Still have not updated that. Uh, there they got one. it. There we go. I mean, I'm not an official book or anything, but really, other than running my mouth, that's all I have to do is keep score. So. <laughs> Some might say I'm pretty good at running my mouth. So. Wood misses that one. Makes that one. Seven or uh, four of seven from the foul line for Wood in the game. Six points. It's all that's been scored by either team total between the two in this half of basketball. Peterson baseline. Inside David Whitney won't go. Rebound Wood. Pass out ahead to Spencer. Pulls up 15 footer for two. Valley back out to a nine point lead. <coughs> I 
in the corner. That's Fitzgerald. Taken away by Rec. Don't get that shot off. That's going to do it for three quarters on the Rocky Mountain Yeti scoreboard. 31-22 Buffaloes. You're watching Utah 1A Basketball on KSL and MyLocalRadio.com. If you're looking for live local sports, local news, weather, live classifieds, and free photo downloads, search no more. MyLocalRadio.com has what you want. Watch your teams live or browse the tens of thousands of photographs of Wyoming, Utah, and Idaho high school events from speech and drama competitions, rodeo, an array of different athletics, activities, community events, and so much more. Visit MyLocalRadio.com today and find what you're looking for. On the construction site, time is money. The professionals at Ellingford Brothers have top quality cement ready to go whenever and wherever you need it. Make sure your timelines are met. Have everything you need delivered right to your job site. Whether it's ready mix concrete, custom crushed sand and gravel, pit run or road base, with two dedicated batch plants, you can count on Ellingford Brothers. Delivering on time for generations. 221 County Road in Evanston. Hi there, Craig Dearden with Castle Rock Chevrolet right here in Evanston. Of course, it's about finding you that perfect vehicle, but at Castle Rock, it's about a lot more. It's using our experience to get you the best rate. We will get you the vehicle that you've always wanted. It's about knowing your vehicle is in the right hands. Throughout the buying experience here at Castle Rock Chevrolet, we're here for you. If you're ready to buy a new truck, come to Castle Rock. Auto Farm Castle Rock Chevrolet. We're a different kind of dealer. Hi there, Craig Dearden, Castle Rock Chevrolet. Valley ball to start this third, fourth period. Tipped up in the air, taken away by Peterson, and an offensive foul called. Wow. I, I will say this, they're consistent. They've called a lot of offensive fouls, and they've a lot of them have been like that. So I guess it's just got to be adjusted to. That's the fourth foul on Peterson. So Evans, Wall, and Peterson all with four. Snell with three for the Miners. The Miners are in foul trouble. You're watching a Bear Lake Realty presentation of Utah 1A basketball. Lob into Franklin out of, out of reach. You know, it's interesting that the Miners are uh, the one in foul trouble here because Valley offense depends very much on the driving in, uh, getting in the paint, where his Tintic is really good on the outside, uh, making those threes. So, three-point shot up by Whitney won't go. Rebound kicked out to Wall. Wall back to David Whitney. Again with a miss. Rebound Wreck. Casey Wreck with a kick. Hoyt and Heaton back into the game. Give a shout out to uh, Braden Heaton's dad, Wade Heaton. As Killer Country Outfit is a good sponsor of ours. Great friend. If you're looking for world class mule deer hunts, look him up. Killer Country Outfitters. David Wall comes out of there with the ball. Garrett Spencer swats it away. Whitney steps up for three off the back iron. Rebound pulled down by Franklin. Gets it to Wood. You know, we should mention in this Dalton that uh, Wood takes it in, won't go, rebound Wall. Um, Tending Miners, I think if I remember right, let me look it up. Number four in the state on scoring offense. They average 65 points a game. Their last two games combined, they have 
51 so far. Yeah, it definitely feels uncharacteristic for the Miners. You know, they scored 65 or something on Mustangs. Wow, what just got called? Hit and replay. I want to see that. Play that again. Oh, he slowed up is all he did. That was He's it. just jogging up the floor. He slowed up. Uh, you could actually put that up on the screen. That's an interesting. Okay. Let me uh, do a single here. Yep. First one good by Evans. Ready for it? Yep. So he just slows down, and that, and Wall runs into the back of him. That's an interesting call. Evans makes the first, misses the second. Wall chases down the rebound. That foul was Franklin's fourth foul. Wall for three in the corner. Dyson Spencer, bounce pass into Garrett Spencer, shot up off the glass, rims off, rebound Evans. 31-26 on your Rocky Mountain Yeti scoreboard. Now that's Kyson Spencer's fourth. So both teams a lot of players with four fouls. Wall makes his free throw. And the foul on Fitzgerald as Hoyt was set and Fitzgerald went through the screen. And that's Fitzgerald's that's fourth. fourth. We've got a loaded. I should have been keeping track of fouls because we have got to be approaching <laughs> a lot. Yeah. <laughs> You know what, we haven't um, shot that many free throws. Oh, the soft spin, soft touch and the spin pulls that ball in. You're watching Utah High School 1A basketball on KSL and MyLocalRadio.com. Located in Alton, Utah, the development employs 32 people at the extraction site and another 30 are employed driving trucks. Alton Coal reclaims the land by restoring habitat for sage grouse and cattle. Alton Coal. I didn't think it was possible to add one more thing to my already busy schedule. Then I realized that earning my degree will not only help me, but my family too. Off the free throws from Gavin Hoyt, it's Tinnick basketball. You're, watch or, uh, you're watching a Bear Lake Realty presentation of 1A state basketball. 
And the rebound goes to the ground. Wall dives in there, ties it up, and they call a timeout. We'll be back after this. Welcome back to this Ellington Brothers in Evanston presentation of Utah 1A basketball. Fitzgerald at the foul line. Peterson for three, rims off. Rebound to Hoyt, gives to Spencer. Four, five point game, 33-28 on the Rocky Mountain Yeti scoreboard. Hoyt, Wood loses the handle, chases it down, keeps the dribble alive. Spencer in the corner. David Whitney with the foul. That's his first foul. And it may be that we haven't had all that many fouls. It's just that they're all on the same players. Right. Gavin Hoyt with the soft touch gets another one to go. That's Valley is now 13 of 22 from the foul line. 14 of 23. In the corner, Peterson for three again. Gavin Hoyt with the rebound. Gives to Wood. Hesitates. Wood loses the handle. Out of bounds. Minor ball. Whitney crossover, looks right, comes left. Fitzgerald in the corner to Peterson. Evans baseline, corner. And Wall travels. Went to lean in and the defender gave way a little bit. And had to shuffle his feet back underneath him. Garrett Spencer, 35-28 on the Rocky Mountain Yeti scoreboard. Miners have only scored eight points in the second half. Buffalo's only with 10. Been a defensive battle. Spencer drives baseline, gives it back to Sp Garrett Spencer. Whitney has one foul, and uh, that'll be his second. Valley good enough ball handlers. They can burn a lot of time up by seven points. If they can make their free throws down the stretch, should be in pretty good shape. Makes them both. Gavin Hoyt, after starting out three of six from the foul line, has made six in a row. Yeah. 
Evans, high post, turns. Peterson for three. Garrett Spencer. And the foul will go against Fitzgerald. That uh, should be his fifth. I don't think. Yep, that is, you're right. That'll bring Snell into the game. Snell has four fouls as well. May come down to a battle of attrition. Whoever's got the most players on their bench. That's right. Wood misses his free throw. Five of nine. Five of 10. Rebound Evans out to Peterson looks. And fouled by Gavin Hoyt. Five of 10 from the line for, no, five of 11 for Spencer. Looks like there's maybe some blood on the floor. Or Peterson makes his free throw. Thirty-seven, thirty-two on the Rocky Mountain Yeti scoreboard. Makes second. Four point ball game. Two minutes to go. That looked like it was tipped. Was that not tipped? And that's what it looked like. Because he's just dribbling that on his side. He didn't hit his foot or anything to go. Timeout Miners, full timeout on the floor. We'll be back after this. You're watching Utah Winnie Basketball on KSL and MyLocalRadio.com. runs on the second Saturday in July. Start training today. When it comes to parts and service, don't rely on anyone other than the team at Cash Honda Yamaha in Cash Valley. The professional mechanics and parts department team have the experience to help you with whatever you need. When you need to add a winch, get an extra belt or spark plugs, winterize, repair or replace tires, or have a rebuild, they can help. Whatever you need, gift ideas, parts, accessories, or a great mechanic, you'll find it all at Cash Honda Yamaha in between Logan and Smithfield on Highway 91. Comfort Inn in Richfield offers guests cozy accommodations and friendly service. Amenities include free Wi-Fi, free hot breakfast, indoor pool and hot tub. If you're looking for a getaway or if you're here at the Comfort Inn for work, we've got you covered. Shot up and one for David Whitney. In this fourth quarter, the Miners have cut that lead to two. The opportunity to cut it to one. 
And that's going to be the fifth foul on Franklin. That's huge foul. Thirteen to seven. The Miners have outscored the Buffaloes in this fourth period. The Buffaloes have not scored a basket, only free throws. To Spencer, to Hoyt, and fouled. And that's the fifth foul on, wa on, wall. on wall. Wall saying it's his fourth. Scoreboard was incorrect because the, the one before was the fourth. Gavin Hoyt makes another free throw in the fourth quarter. Eight of eight in the fourth quarter for Hoyt from the foul line. Pulls that lead back out to four. Peter or er, Young to Whitney. Yo-yos looks in the corner to Peterson. He's open. Recovered well. Covered well by Wood. He gets out and doesn't allow Peterson to have that three-point shot because he can hit it. In the blink of an eye, Young. And travel. Inbounds to Garrett Spencer. Spencer up the sideline. Defended by Whitney. To Kyson Spencer. Back to Garrett. To Hoyt. To Wood. And that's the one you want to foul. Wood has really struggled from the foul line. Five of 11 is what I have. And that may not be completely accurate, but... I think I'm only off by one if I am. So the best case scenario, he's shooting 50% from the foul line. And he continues to struggle. That one soft touch, rolls in, hits the front, hits the back, and then falls in. 40-35 on the Rocky Mountain Yeti scoreboard. Five-point lead for the Buffaloes. David Whitney hands to Peterson. Screen from Evans, ball tipped away. Tintic needing to make a big play here. And Whitney Dang. pulls up for three, rims off. Hoyt with the rebound and a foul. Not the one you want to foul. Gavin started off the game kind of sketchy from the free throw, but it's dialed it in since. Ten of ten in the fourth quarter alone for Hoyt from the foul line, the freshman. Whitney crosses over, pulls back for three. That's going to be short. Rebound, Snell hits the bottom of the rim. Ball on the floor, tied up. Timeout Hoyt, or timeout Coach Hoyt. Valley saves the possession. You're watching Utah 1A Basketball on KSLMyLocalRadio.com. 
Frosty's Cleaning and Sales wants to wish Region 20 success. Frosty's has the most up-to-date equipment and utilizes an enzyme extraction combined with hot water for both carpets and tile. Frosty's also offers custom welding and fabrication. Call Shane or Judy today. When you're in need of meat processing, think of the Glendale Country Store. Kyle and Rachel Spencer, from beef to wild game, they do it all. Summer sausage and their famous barbecue jerky. Wishing the buffalo success. Derek and Gabe Brinkerhoff with Tea Lazy 7 Ranch Cabins want to wish the buffalo success. Our newly built cozy cabins are conveniently located between Zion and Bryce National Parks. Book your stay on Airbnb.com. Lamb Excavating wishes the Valley Buffaloes the best in the postseason. Lamb Excavation can help you with all your excavation needs. Give Darwin a call, 435-691-2782. He digs it. Welcome back to this Bear Lake Realty presentation of 1A Basketball. The Valley Buffaloes have a 42-35 lead and they lose the ball out of bounds. Not a good decision by the Buffaloes. So many times, you know, you always used to set a pick to uh, get open. Now they just try to move to the ball and just asking for, you know, more moving parts, it's troubles. Snell up top, three-point shot, it's going to be short. Rebound Peterson just throws it back to save it. Saved by Whitney, and that's going to go out of bounds on the other side. That'll be Buffalo ball. Seven-point lead on the Rocky Mountain Yeti scoreboard for the Buffaloes, 42-35. Bounce pass into Wood to Spencer. Scoops it up with his left hand for two, and that'll seal the deal. Valley Buffaloes will move on. Hoyt rolled his ankle backpedaling. Sitting on the floor. That's going to do it. 44-35 on your Rocky Mountain Yeti scoreboard. Hang around, folks. We'll be back with the Rubies in. Post-game highlights. Yep, post-game highlights. Brain freeze right there. Yeah, it's all right. We'll be back. Mark your calendar. On March 17th, as country music star Billy Dean will be in concert at Ruby's Inn's Ebenezer's Barn and Grill. In Bryce Canyon City, show starts at 7 p.m. For tickets, go to Ebenezer'sBarnAndGrill.com and click on Billy Dean banner. Tickets begin at $10 a person. So get your tickets today and don't miss Billy Dean, March 17th at Ruby's Inn, Ebenezer's Barn and Grill in Bryce Canyon City, Utah. On the weekends, our weeks never end. We'll be devoted to you all day. And we'll keep working for you all night until the job is done. Snap out of it. Become a new you in no time. With Logo Maniacs, look your best. Logo Maniacs, the right look for the right price. You have goals. Subway has a fresh fit menu. With two servings of veggies and 24 grams of whole grains, 
Subway has eight six-inch subs with 400 calories or less, like the rotisserie-style chicken or oven-roasted turkey breast. Choose from eight great options that are better for you and delicious. Go you. Try the Fresh Fit menu, only at Subway. This ad brought to you by Mount Carmel Subway in Orderville, Utah. Folks, welcome back. You're watching 1A High School State Championship Basketball coming to you from the Severe Valley Center. This is the Ruby's Inn post-game report and highlights brought to you by Ruby's Inn. Ruby's Inn, a great sponsor. They've been hosting visitors to Bryce Canyon and the surrounding area for over 100 years, since 1916. Um, we just had the number three team out of Region 20 beat the number one team out of Region 21, 44-35 in a free throw shooting duel. The, uh, the Miners average 70 points a game, 66 points a game, number four in the state, and the Buffaloes held them to 35. David Whitney averages 13 points a game. He got close with 11. Jesse Wall right at his season average with 14. Braxton Peterson was seven. And Curtis Evans, half his season average with three. It was a real battle down in there between Evans and Franklin. <coughs> Excuse me. For the Buffaloes, um, the story in that game was the free throw shooting of Gavin Hoyt. In the fourth quarter, the only bucket was one bucket by Garrett Spencer. Gavin Hoyt, 10 of 10 from the free throw line in the fourth quarter, 13 of 16 on the game. For the Buffaloes, Kyson Spencer with two, Garrett Spencer with eight. Defensively, the uh, Miners did a great job on him, holding him to eight. He averages 18.6. Casey Reck with a big three in the second quarter. Gavin Hoyt finished the night with 17 points. Cameron Franklin, Evans did a fantastic job, held Franklin to zero points. And Oren Wood finished the night with 14, struggling from the foul line, went five of 12 from the foul line. And Stetson Harris came in for Franklin when he got hurt and had one free throw. So that's gonna do it for your Ruby's Inn postgame report and highlights. Check them out, folks. Ruby's Inn's hosting Billy Dean. He'll be live in concert March 17th at 7 p.m. You can get tickets. They start for 10 bucks. I mean, that's a pretty it's a fantastic cheap concert. Deal. Yeah. Rooms are rooms are great price this time of year at Ruby's Inn, and uh, make a weekend of it. Go down, check it out. Billy Dean on March 17th at Ebenezer's Barn and Grill. Get tickets EbenezerBarnandGrill.com. We'll be back. The next game is the Penguin Bobcats and the Rich Rebels, and this is the semifinal game. We're done with consolation play for the day. The next four games, two girls games, two boys games, championship basketball, semifinals coming to you on live.ksl.com and on my local radio. On the construction site, time is money. The professionals at Ellingford Brothers have top quality cement ready to go whenever and wherever you need it. Make sure your timelines are met. Have everything you need delivered right to your job site. Whether it's ready mix concrete, custom crushed sand and gravel, pit run or road base with two dedicated batch plants you can count on Ellingford Brothers. Delivering on time for generations. 221 County Road in Evanston. Hi there, Craig Dearden with Castle Rock Chevrolet right here in Evanston. Of course, it's about finding you that perfect vehicle, but at Castle Rock it's about a lot more. It's using our experience to get you the best rate. We will get you the vehicle that you've always wanted. It's about knowing your vehicle is in the right hands. Throughout the buying experience here at Castle Rock Chevrolet, we're here for you. If you're ready to buy a new truck, come to Castle Rock. Auto Farm Castle Rock Chevrolet. We're a different kind of dealer. The Alton Coal Development is located in Alton, Utah. The development employs 32 people at the extraction.